Well here we go, about 20 minutes of running and now it's time to take it apart because everybody wants to know what's inside. Um, also need to know how worn out it is, if it is worn out at all. The piston going up and down there. So I'm going to take this side cover off, starting down here. Voila! She is revealed. No disasters. Well, there we have it. Um, approximately 25 minutes of running. No visible disasters in here. No unusual wear characteristics, um, no ridges on any of the edges, some interesting marks over here, I'm not sure what they are. The seals, which of course do not need to be sprung steel because no springs behind them, uh, are of uh, bronze nature. And the little lip seals here just sort of float against the edge. But generally I see no, no reason to suspect that this wouldn't go on for a long time. So maybe the next step is to put it together and run it till it breaks. What's not visible here is that the piston crown is, a, is hollow. Um, and there's no weight where the gudgeon pin would normally be. So I consider the reciprocating mass here to be considerably less than a conventional piston. It also takes more time over TDC and more time over bottom dead center.